to demonstrate the available parameters when uh, using the YGE ESC uh, computer program versus using the Mikado VBAR uh, control radio uh, integration or using the integration in the uh, Jetty uh, radios. So this would be the uh, gold standard using the uh, PC uh, program. As you can see there are uh, five tabs. Uh, on the general tab here you have uh, uh, the basic functions. In my case I'm using a helicopter, helicopter store. This is a new function. This is a reverse spin for the motor. Um, this is great that, that we have it now. Obviously this tells you the firmware uh, that's on the uh, ESC, the uh, ESC, the serial number tells you the battery protection. You can choose that function and along with the uh, uh, voltage, uh, power delivery, um, the initial power delivery, and then the throttle reaction here. Uh, this uh, allows you to select the um, battery type. Um, uh, the uh, BEC uh, voltage uh, as well, uh, motor timing, uh, which is r really cool, just like, um, I guess, a uh, hobby wing ESC set that people are familiar with. But this one has uh, auto timing similar to Contronic and uh, um, uh, the Scorpion uh, Tribunus. Um, uh, and then you can also choose between weak, strong, uh, extreme, or, or, or normal. Um, this a uh, 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 static uh, um, freewheel. Apparently, this is something that you should use when when or select when using governor mode. Uh, brake settings. I believe this is more for airplanes. Um, uh, so uh, lots of parameters here under a uh, special. Again, you have the uh, the speed control. In my case, I'm using the uh, uh, heli store. Uh, this box is checked after the governor is taught. So I, I haven't made in this particular helicopter or remade in the helicopter yet. You can change the p-value and the i-value. You know here this uh, allows you to um, the F3C uh, auto. I guess it means the auto rotation allows you to stop the, the motor completely. Here you can choose the the gearing. Uh, again, you, you generally can use that uh, uh, do that on the radio as well. Uh, but this uh, uh, allows you to uh, have um, the, the gear settings uh, on the ESC um, a program itself. Um, the, on the, uh, and then stick values, I guess is when, when you teach uh, the, the high stick and low stick on the, uh, the throttle channel. Um, on the advanced settings here, you can uh, choose the max uh, current. Uh, uh, mine, I just left it at default. I guess there are some uh, uh, minor calibrations you can do so the current um, uh, MAH consumption reads correctly. Here the telemetry, I'm using the Jetty x -Boss in this case. Um, I'm not really sure what this is, I just, uh, but, but it seems to work if I just leave it at 1. <laughs> um, uh, obviously you can look at the alarms and logs, although you can you know, see that on the radio as well. Um, but you have this option here, and this is where on the update tab, where you have the option to to update the um, uh, firmware of the ESC. And this is something you will not have um, either on the Jetty uh, when using the Jetty integration or the VBAR control integration. Here I have a YGE ESC integrated to a Mikado VBAR control radio. So here, if you're just looking at telemetry, of course the telemetry has all the standard telemetry options. Uh, that's not anything you know special to the VFAR control or Jetty or any other radio. But when it comes to the actual uh, two-way communication integration, here will be a, like a long uh, press on that uh, uh, prompt. Uh, here's what, what the difference becomes apparent. So here from the uh, uh, menu, you can actually control what kind of a governor you want to use or, or, or even air, airplane mode or so. You can actually control the BEC uh, voltage. Here I have it at 7.9, 
but let's say you know I want it uh, right at eight you know so here I I'll just apply that you know boom good to go all right not not an issue um, when it comes to did I apply it already yep I did and you can actually hear the ESC okay you know it started okay um, here I'm just gonna use a test battery uh, here I'm gonna go back at a, a long press on the YGE ESC mode and this, you know now I changed my uh, VEC BEC voltage I can do that you know without bringing a computer to the field I can change my uh, temperature monitor uh, alarm BEC voltage alarm uh, the protection the limit thing you know, it gives me options for that and then I also get expert settings all right you know I can get the the acceleration slow medium fast uh, some other way the auto timing I usually leave the auto timing uh, on auto but you know here's a, a, a several other options uh, here's where you control the actual governor you know with the proportional and the integral again you can do that right from the VVAR control touch radio I believe you can also control that uh, through the uh, regular older uh, BVAR control and, uh, and and I'm assuming you can, you can do that through the uh, newer Evo as well uh, the startup control you know here smooth normal uh, and you can also do the uh, active freewheel so again you have several options um, you, I mean uh, of course you still need the PC program to uh, to go through the uh, more advanced uh, menus but you can do quite a bit at, at the field uh, with the uh, VVAR control radio. So uh, now I'm going to show you how limited the uh, uh, Jetty uh, integration actually is. Now for comparison, I have another YGE ESC. Now this one is uh, connected through um, uh, a Jetty radio using one of the Jetty receivers, okay? So I still get all the same uh, uh, telemetry options. So telemetry is not the issue here. We're talking about actual two-way integration with the ESC. Again, telemetry and integration are two different uh, uh, things. Uh, people confuse them all the time, but just, they're just not all the same. I don't know why people still confuse them. Um, so here, uh, let, let, let's see uh, you know what we have and why I think uh, the Jetty integration with the uh, uh, YGESC is so crappy, especially to the Mikado one. So here we're going to go into the uh, menu. We'll go uh, into applications, and there is really no uh, YGE uh, application on the Jetty radios. So we have to use the really um, there was another word for shitty, uh, crappy, I guess, um, uh, integration with the with the ESC radio through the Jetty box. This is like a like really really old technology. So let's go through Jetty box. So now we're in transmitter. We don't want to do that. Let's go um, and next to the uh, RX uh, MX. So that will be the, the integration with the uh, uh, YGE ESC. And it, it is it, it is nothing compared to uh, what you get with Mikado, all right. So here, yes, you do have the um, the ability to change the the, the governor function, all right. Um, let me see. Uh, actually, here, so we're in governor store. That's the one I like. But you also have the other options. But it's not the same as uh, as with the Mikado. You cannot see all of them at the same time you have to use this really rudimentary you know uh, okay let's look at all the options what is it that we have and let's go back to the governor store uh, so then you go down okay you, you sort of have to know this that you have to go through a, like a next menu and here you see how my uh, because I was messing around with it the um, uh, YGE ESC actually restarted um, let's see let's go down the next menu okay well you, you, well, you see, you can even go down. This is like a really, uh, a real pain in the ass. Uh, let's go up again. Let's go down, okay. Uh, governor store. So this alarm, I don't know what this is all about. Um, um, uh, so the VEC voltage, you know, we, we had it at 7.9. So here you have the ability to change it if you want, okay. Here, I'm just gonna leave it at 7.9. That's the one I want. Um, I'm gonna come down to auto to the timing. So auto, 
you know, a zero, six, blah, 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 all the way to 30. I'm, you know, I'm just gonna leave it on, a, on, on auto. And then uh, the cell limit at 3.1. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at that because I don't want the, the, the ESC giving me problems if my uh, voltage goes down to, uh, too low. Um, and you know, so it gives me the, the what ESC I have and the uh, uh, the version, the firmware version. I mean, and that's it. I mean, you don't have you don't have the ability to change the p value, the i value, or any of the other values that are important uh, uh, to change at the field. Um, uh, so, so, so this Jetty uh, integration with the uh, uh, YGE ESC and perhaps other ESC, uh, other ESCs is really rudimentary. I mean, it, it, it's just barely functional. Uh, the the Mikado one, as I showed you earlier, is just so much better. You cannot not even compare them. Uh, it's not a fair comparison. As I, I think is a, uh, I consider it an insult to Mikado to uh, uh, to even compare just Jetty uh, uh, integration to the Mikado integration.